Hi, thanks for watching Authentic Science. We're going to take some regular pennies today and we're going to turn them into gold pennies today. Do just what the alchemists did in days past and take a, a common substance and turn it into gold. We're not really going to turn it into gold, but we'll talk about the science in a little while. It's a very simple process. What we do is we take a little bit of uh, zinc and some sodium hydroxide and we add just regular pennies right into that mixture. We rinse it off really quick. We're going to heat it up and then we're going to, as we superheat it, we're going to cool it down rapidly in some water and you're going to have some gold pennies. So we're going to walk through that process. These pennies already have been uh, turned into silver, so silver pennies by taking uh, zinc and sodium hydroxide, mixing it together, we have a zinc coated penny. We're going to rinse that off in a little bit of water and then we're going to take a regular Bunsen burner. You can do this over a regular flame as well, but a little Bunsen burner and we're going to heat it up. It takes years of experience to know exactly when the right moment is. start to turn colors, going to start to turn colors and then we're going to superheat it in the water, super cool it, it's going to come out super shiny. There you go, we got gold penny. Hi, we're going to talk about the chemistry behind turning copper into gold. And here we have all the equations right on the board, don't be scared by the equations, but we're going to talk right through them. Zinc and sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide and zinc was what was in that first beaker. The sodium hydroxide is a super strong base. It reacts with that zinc and turns it into an ion. Similar to say you put sodium chloride, which is everyday salt, you put that into a little bit of water and uh, it, it dissolves into sodium ions and chloride ions. The same thing is going on here with the zinc. The zinc mixes with that hydroxide and turns into zinc ions and the, sodium hydro the hydroxide ions are still there. Take that zinc ions, put it in the presence of copper solid, which is what that penny was, and we put that penny in there, and the zinc deposits itself on that copper. So you end up with what looks like a silver penny. It's really a zinc penny covering up that copper. So you have zinc, you have copper, and you mix them together uh, by uh, heating them up, zinc, copper, and you get a zinc copper alloy. The zinc and the copper together form an alloy and that alloy is brass. And that's the chemistry behind turning copper into gold.